had a pretty hard time um, recently. One, one um, for those of you who aren't familiar, I just put out my first album, and that for me was a major birthing process. And it was one thing for me to put the album out where you can have a really polished version of the album. And, um, but even so, a big, a big risk because, you know, I was someone who grew up being told I didn't have what it takes. I didn't have the voice. I didn't have whatever it was. I wasn't going to Broadway, so I should just give it up. And, um, and so even stepping out, one of my soul gifts and callings is around music, sacred music that really opens people's hearts. But I could do it in the studio in a way that felt good because I could redo it and I could polish it and I could buff it. But for me, a real edge just recently was stepping out onto the stage and doing it live where there's no redos, there's no mistakes. Or there are mistakes, but you can't redo when those come up. And it was terrifying. This birthing process can be so terrifying. I, I couldn't sleep for days. I would wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. I would be afraid of people laughing at me, which actually happened to me when I was in high school. I had a terrible show that um, I started crying in the middle of. Sort of everyone's worst nightmare happened. So I had that in my system, and when I went to offer it, it started coming up again while I was on stage, and I hit a few wrong notes. And what was my saving grace, literally, was having sisters, including you, Elaine, including other women who've been part of this program, actually, including people that are participants in our program, there's a co-creation and, and a support where we're all equal in the heart. And I was being held and I was being uh, adorned, you know, from getting ready for the show, backstage, having sisters that were helping me put on my eye makeup to doing vocal warm-up exercises to when I started feeling like, wow, I'm really losing it here, to have the, that, those cheerleaders, that support, those people to see my, um, my bigness, the possibility of who I'm becoming, even more than I see it. And to have that is something that is invaluable because all of us have a dream and a gift and it's really hard to bring it into the world. We need mentors, we need support, we need people who have both the skills and the talent and the love to hold us through a birthing process. And we couldn't be doing this for other people if we weren't willing to be doing this for ourselves. And so we're continuing to take risks and grow and dive in. And as we're doing that, we're also holding others in doing that. But the truth is, we're all in this together. This is the call of the time. I call it the sacred undoneness. Yeah. The sacred undoneness and this it's beautiful. ravage of perfectionism that we as women particularly think so I have it strong. Well, she has it real strongly in one area. I have it real strongly in another area. And so we are great mirrors for one another. And the truth is that my my learning through witnessing you, Deva, in, in, in this recent unveiling coming a partness of your own being is I love who you are in the undoneness of your being. I love who I am in the undoneness of my being. And yet so much of the time when we are called to be leaders in the world, we're called to be um, showing up with our greatest gifts. So we're, we, we're looking at the business world as how do, how we become priestesses and, and healers in the business world. We think we have to become something other than who we are. And my biggest learning has been to undo that learning. <laughs> undo the learning of that there's something I have to be other than who I am. Even in the making of this work here, even in reaching out to you here, the temptation is to go into performance. The temptation is to present myself to you with myself all completely done up. And yet the truth is, is I know that the biggest thing that people are hungering for, myself included, is vulnerability and authenticity and power. All of those three together. And how to do that in the world is a rare and fine art. Because truly, I know how scary it is to show up and, and bring myself. I've, I learned how to perform. You learned how to perform, right? We became good performers. I was great at it. 
I can work a room like nobody's business. I can get you laughing, I can get you playing, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the truth is, is if I don't have the counterpoint to that, then that's all it becomes. It just becomes a pretty show. And I don't want to make pretty shows anymore. I actually want real contact. That's what and feeds my heart. Right? Transformation of that is what feeds my heart and what I see when I go into the world as to what is healing is when I'm willing to show up and say, this is who I am in this moment.